really nicely played by them. And again, they have a great position moving in. They're a little bit northwards for my liking, but oh, what's this? Rain, he spotted out, and it's going to be Immo able to get it on through. And I think that was the team eliminated. Pain going down in 15th place. That's not Pixel. what they want to see. Pixel, Pixel sorry. Deepak. Oh, he's down. He's pretty much out as well. Has one team member remaining. But we'll go down for now. You can see the, the last massive rotation that SWAT have had to make to try and save in here. Coming soon, have greeted Team RN with open hands here. Bullets flying heavily. We'll have to yeah, I d I, I'm not too sure if they're going to find too much welcoming. I mean, uh, <laughs> Uh, welcoming respite there, but Team Soul actually engaged in a fire fight a little bit further north than we are at the moment. I think that's with IGC. To see who comes out on top there. 14 teams still remaining. Plenty of teams with center circle positions. Skull looking to rotate in, of course, moving in towards that center, but Team RN are still going strong. They're your stragglers. They are on their hero's journey at this stage. They need to have an incredible through from Jalaj, who he, surprisingly willing to try and oh. take fights. We do see that Evil are the ones engaged in this fight with Soul. We'll have to get a camera on it as quickly as possible because we don't want to miss any Soul action. There's a spray down coming from Jalaj. He's pretty much outside the circle coming. IGC will hold him here. He's going to go down. I don't think he has enough meds to survive. No, he doesn't. He has literally no meds and he's just holding outside of the circle, frozen in fear. And yeah. just in a second, the players are trying to him. deny points here. At I this think stage. that's actually what he's doing. Is he? He knows he can't get in without dying, so he's just waiting. He's going to deny points from IGC. Go out to the play zone there. Here's Sol. They're trying to breach the compound that evil big fellas have already claimed for themselves. You can see that already. Oasis is having a bit of trouble, so they're going to throw a smoke over so that one of the members can fly on over. And try and get that res. See what they can get done. Oh, Hydra, they're coming out of the god. Rock God, let's see if God's rain's going to rain strong. But no, Hydra oh, coming through. Down. Two quick downs. Beautiful frags coming through. But Joker is taken out in turn. And that's an elimination. I think that's all of God rain going down. And it is over. The time of man is now. And Hydra strikes again. I fucking, I love Hydra. I love them so much, John. The, the play that <laughs> comes in is incredible. Hydra constantly are playing such a, a huge game for, and proving that not only do they have the rotational ability, but also the fragging ability as well. If there's one team to get hyped up in India, I think it's Hydra. I can't wait to see them head on into the regional finals, head into the semi-finals, re regional finals, and then potentially even represent uh, India to the rest of the world and show how strong. Let's see what they can do, but they are out of the next zone. At the moment, though, it's Evil Big Fellas taking on Soul, who's already taken another down. Team RN under the cosh as well from Pain Retribution. We've seen two downs coming through, but in come coming soon. They are coming pretty soon, it seems, but Team RN, they have so many players down and out, but there's one left down, and they will fall out to coming soon. They managed to pick up quite a few frags there, but Retribution gets some as well. A couple of those points just dispersed across that top line of the tournament. Evil Big Fellas trying to take the fight to IGC, but that's out in the play zone, and now these teams are really starting to crash into each other. Like we said, pretty much half the server going to go down due to this circle closing in. Very difficult for these players to navigate so many on that southern western side, and coming soon... Ooh are going to get wiped on out here as well nice by place. Retribution. Retribution easily moving into the circle here. Soul have got their members up, and they're going to have a bit of area they can claim for themselves. Even Eight teams remaining. Lose. Hydra currently in a battle with IGC as well. Look Over towards that. Paradise with Sort. I think he's got the QBU out as well. Right, so Joker with the nade. He's had a, such good success. Throws it over. IGC. Kobe. Oh, oh so close. A little bit short there, but they still have a decent position. They're on that north flank. They can rotate a bit, a little bit left, but there are players in their way. Joker goes for another nade. I think that one was a little bit wide as well. No one really taking too much damage, but <laughs> He's IGC. He's got so many. They have to heal up. Last nade now, though, for IGC. Joker. Oh, this, one oh, this one might hit. Altair under pressure. Oh, a nice chunk of damage. That's going to negate a lot of that healing that happened. This rotation, though, does need to come in pretty fast from Hydra. You can see they've got Team India on their flanks as well. It's going to be a really difficult movement for them. What a crazy ending to our first game here on Sanok. A paradise resort circle. And as you can see, it's closed all on in. Team Insidious in a fairly good position here. Hydra trying to fight IGC on the western side. And 
try and take them down as much as possible. You can see Alatea has managed to get himself into a building, but unfortunately here for Gogeta, he is going to be in a bit of trouble. Trying to make the rotation should be safe because it looks like Hydra have decided to claim position rather than fights. IGC, one of the lowest scoring teams on the table at the moment, so having a good performance here could change the tides of battle and with the down onto Dryga, that's how they want to start it out, but they need to make sure that they have that pressure. In goes Joker, oh, he's Joker. taken no, he's not messing about at all, able to get one down, but Retribution Pain as well, getting hit down by AKHP. Joker, still going strong, finds one, finds two, this is an absolute tear oh, from him, oh. but finally he goes down. They are going to keep on rolling though, Hydra, they lose one, two down I think as well, but they are going to be able to come back in. Pain Retribution get eliminated. Pain Retribution out in sixth position. But look at Hydra, the rolling squad of thunder here. Hail Hydra in the center of the Paradise Resort. Team India and Insidious in a great position for now. And surprisingly, we're seeing some stuff from AKHP as well. We've had fairly lackluster uh, performances so far throughout the tournament. They need a big one today if they're going to escape that red zone, John. With five teams remaining, they certainly have a chance to do so. Trying to breach on into the Paradise Resort. Seven seconds until this circle starts closing. Is there only Mortal left alive for Soul? Maybe. We'll have to get a, a, a checkpoint on that. I think it might be. No, Viper's there as well. So we've got two members for Soul, all four for Insidious, three for Hydra. And here comes the circle push. Hydra, they've managed to stave it off for now. They need to keep on moving forward. You can see Mortal has to chuck that smoke out, but it's not really going to give him too much more. Hydra have position. Viper has to try and push into. Insidious are there as well. Nice nade coming out. That was actually from Insidious, but Viper goes down. Team India lose a player to the play zone in the meantime. AKHP, they're getting fired on as well, and God Kill just rolls on through, rouse the shots off, fine two. That's Hydra eliminating Soul out in fifth position. Team India getting fragged on by AKHP as well. Yeah, and Insidious inside the compound here, great spot for them. The Molotov is burning God Kill down, he's gonna repair himself with that first aid kit, should be fine for now. There's plenty of meds on top of him, you can see he's got plenty of stims to play Insidious, with. So they're gonna poop around the corner, just a bit of pre-fire coming out of Smixy. They want this kills onto Hydra, they know how strong Hydra are. Can Smixy get over the top here? If he can, he'll have a great position. Doesn't look possible. Here's Team India rolling in and AKHP still with four members alive. They are one of the strongest teams right now and the other three teams are the top three teams in these groups. They have so much work to do and if they can get it done, that will be a massive pickup for them. The question is, can they keep this position? Can they stay strong? Hydra all gonna be looking to try and bear down and push into this position, but can they play them off against each other? That's the question. It's gonna be Hydra crashing into Insidious and Team India crashing into AHK. HP here. Nades flying out and Insidious gonna pick up a kill onto Cross from AKHP. Just the down there. AKHP, that's gonna be the final for the final blow. Still four teams remaining. They still got three players. Everybody's so close to each other. Look at how close this circle's pushing them all. Hydra. It's such a maze. Like, how can Hydra get up into this I area? Even know I'm, not, if they I'm can. not even sure they can. I think Hydra may just be playing for placement at this point. Yeah, they've boxed themselves in. There's no way for them to get involved in this fight. Molotov's going oh, to fly over towards Masik. them. Taking a lot of damage from that Molotov. Okay, that's really their only way in, but I don't know how much more they're going to have. So it all comes down to healing here for Hydra. They're going to have to outheal their opponents. What you want to do in this position, John, is drop all your heals and give it to one player. Don't have all three players healing. Only one does it. The rest, what they can do is run around in the blue and try and just get some shots out. Let's see if Hydra know this. In Team Insidious, AKP... And, in, uh, and, and Team India, they're the ones who are actually fighting for position here. Cartoons is trying to get some shots over the, uh, the hill, but they can't quite do that. No, I, d I think it's... Oh, he's oh, got over! He's got he up. found the ball! Oh, he's got the firing squad! Oh, he's going to take one down. That's disastrous for Hydra. But they still managed to get at least in on the board. You can see he's dropping his heels. And now comes the firefight. It's absolute chaos here at Paradise Resort. There is no respite from the firing squad. And they roll in. Team India seem to be filling up this kill feed. But at the moment, Hydra it's getting Insidious put under the winning. dodge. Four teams all still alive. And they still keep on rolling. Insidious start to push on through. Hydra is still there. Good kill actually getting it down. But that's Hydra finally going out in fourth position. Position. Now it's Team India all going forwards. I think that was Team India. Insidious. Insidious? Yes, Insidious oh with goodness. that, John. What a chaotic finish. Hydra in second, Team India in third, and AKHP coming fourth. An absolute bloodbath in Paradise Resort. The best.